to further reduce the critical interval between injury and treatment, the first cab converted one of its modules for flying cranes into an air mobile hospital. This so-called Medipod can be quickly flown to a battle area and its life-saving facilities put in operation within a few minutes. The self-contained Medipod is air-conditioned and is outfitted with all basic surgical equipment and x-ray facilities. In order to maintain close control, commanders and their staffs move with as well as communicate with their forces. An aerial operations center allows a commander to accompany his units into the heat of battle. Although tactical air mobile units rely largely on voice radio for communications, scaled down air transportable radio teletype facilities are used for communications between the division and major subordinate elements. Another very handy facility for command and control is provided by this module or pod being transported by a flying crane. Equipped as a self-contained tactical operations center, the pod can be quickly flown to any area for immediate use as a division forward CP. The flying crane also performs an important role in logistics, the fifth and fourth. The four to other units meant the movement of troops or heavy equipment. For the first team was the first unit in the theater with the large Chinook helicopter and the flying crane. Not surprisingly, one of the primary tasks for the heavy lift helicopter was the retrieval of damaged aircraft. Before the first cab arrived, aircraft down in inaccessible terrain had to be abandoned to the enemy. This support by the first cab extends to other services as well as army units. Here a downed Navy aircraft is being retrieved. A flying crane quickly transports the damaged plane directly to the deck of a ship at anchor for repair or salvage. 